Hey everyone, welcome back to another native script video. My name is Mehul and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to work with grid layouts in native script. So grid layout is pretty much allows you to construct layouts in the form of table. So if you, if you have ever worked in HTML5 with tables, you know, we used to do that good old stuff like TD um td or you know td or th stuff like that td called span as two which spans two columns and we could have row span with some particular value so you know that stuff was actually interesting to see but uh, here what happens is a native script exposes that that most likely same api to you via something known as grid layout so grid layout what it does is again it enables you to write all that stuff so we could just pretty much get started with saying that this is first child and uh, we can we actually have to give it <clears throat> a row and a column number right so what happens is let's consider that this your whole screen is consisting of grid right so you want to place particular elements in the grid right so you want this to go into row zero and column zero now how do you decide what is the size of each grid you know how how many grid items are there all that stuff so you do that on the root tag by using rows and columns all right so here the thing is that you are allowed to have uh, i guess three particular values the first one is a number so you can pass in any number right the second one is a star which means that the width of that particular row is basically takes all the space available right and the third one is auto which means that the width of that particular row is pretty much just limited to what it contains need all right so let's just take a look at that what i mean so let's say i want my first row to be a hundred units wide second row to be hundred and third row should take all the remaining space on the screen right similarly for columns i want uh, um let's just say i just want one particular column so i'm just going to give it a star which means that it takes all the available width of the screen right so if i hit save what we're gonna see is we see first child right here and let me just give it a background color so that we are able to see a little bit better and since we have three rows right here you're gonna see the second child is also a hundred units wide but the third child is actually um and obviously you need to update this as well but the third child which is this one actually takes the rest of the screen width screen height right because this is a row and since we have just only one column you're going to see that we get this how about i add another column by doing a star comma star so you see that it splits this into half right so you see both of them should get all the available width but again both of them should get that so it splits the screen in half Similarly, you could pretty much like do something like this if you want a 10 pixel 10 not really pixels 10 units margin from the left and Maybe like this, but you know, you could pretty much do a lot of stuff there But if you want this to happen You have to give a call of one there because you want these three elements to sit inside this particular column right so you know you get the idea you could create pretty complicated layouts with this now so you have to define your row structure here your column structure here and then you have to basically insert those elements into your defined columns and rows with the row and column attribute and you're good to go seems pretty simple but works flawlessly so i think yeah grid layout is another cool layout we would probably use in creating layouts especially you know if you have some sort of application like gallery application or something so that is one use case of grid layout so yeah i think that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one